What up, you guys? We just pulled out the motor. Out here with Abel. Lending us three hands, even though he only has two. Is that really working or not? Transmission's off. Engine's out, of course. Motor's out, PTU's out. Yeah, hopefully this 2.0 block holds a lot better than this block. So it cracked right here with this arrow's at. You guys probably can't see that. But yeah, that's pretty much where it cracked. Oh shit, <laughs> I almost slipped. <laughs> Not sure if you guys can see that, but it was leaking right here. Because Abel didn't want to replace the seal. So that's the bad part of the transmission leak. The engine leaked coolant. I don't know if it leaked oil. We never checked it. We didn't waste the oil to fill it. Oh yeah, and for the bottom short core, the short block, the core, shout out to Chris with Panda Motor Works. He's the one who's custom making it for us. He's just giving us the core. He's not building the engine. We're gonna build it here in the garage. Another thing I just purchased were the carbon fiber light covers. Uh, I bought, I want to say, it's like a little kit. It's for this here. Pretty much the trim pieces, the door pieces. I bought some for the center console right there. These. I bought those carbon fiber pieces. And the vents for the air. All that currently purchased. Should be here in a week or two. And we'll see what that looks like. Hopefully this will all be done by maybe end of month, not this month, next month, or beginning of November. Depends how long it takes for Panda to get us the block here and how much time we have. It's Sunday and Abel's off, so he came to lend a hand. I might as well get a better clutch, huh? I thought that was a better clutch. It was, but it's worn. Get a better one. That's what I was trying to tell you, but that one was worn. I mean, I sent a picture to um, Extreme Clutch. They said, it's supposed to have that little bit of material because it's long lasting material. Like it looks like a little bit, it looks warm, but it's really not because it lasts so long. Yeah, Where's the stand? It's actually in the back of the truck. Oh. Grab it. I'll bring it real quick. I'll just build it back here. Alright, let me just take this up there to the garage. Hold on. <clears throat> just finished constructing the engine stand. Engine's ready to go on it. Here's where we're going to have the two motors sitting next to each other. One right here. One right here. And we're going to go ahead and just swap everything over to the new block. And then drop it in, start it, and then hopefully snap an axle or something, launching it. I was thinking about upgrading the axles, but then again, I haven't heard of anybody breaking one. So there's no reason to upgrade them until I break one. Pretty good common theory. That's kind of how things work around here. No one's done it, run it until it breaks. Is that your life motto right there? What's up? Is that your life motto right there? Pretty much, dude. Like, no one's really done much with this car so far, so it's like, you know, sometimes when you have, when you want to do something, you look it up on YouTube. Oh, I want to see what it's going to look like. It's like, oh, I wonder what, you know, a built RS looks like. You don't find one on the, on YouTube or something. So you're like, fuck, I guess I'm going to be the first one to do this. You do it and then it snaps something, you break something, you post about it, let people know. Oh yeah, um, don't, 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 don't do that. Yeah, this car can't handle this. Don't do that. That's pretty much the life lesson around here. Time to lift this up. Uh, 
Y'all haven't seen my Ricky Bordy mask. We're gonna go ahead and put the engine on the stand. We'll see you guys in a bit. So yeah, guys, we weren't able to lift it up on the, we weren't able to put it up on the engine stand. The jack gave out. I think we shot one of the seals on it. Um, it won't lift anymore. So no biggie. We're just gonna leave the motor sit right there. We have everything torn apart. Motor right here, transmission. The clutch is on this side. PTU is right there. I mean, we're pretty much done taking everything apart. All we need now is just to wait for the short block to show up and start moving, transferring everything over. We're gonna go ahead and order a new RAM for the, for the cherry picker. Hopefully it shows up within a week or so and get this bad boy up there because we're gonna need it later on. We can put it up there by hand, but there's no point of doing so because we're not really in a big hurry right now. I'm also getting the carbon pieces. Hopefully they're here within a week. If they are, I'll go ahead and shoot another video. Show you guys what that's gonna look like on the car. So hey guys, it's coming again pretty well. Hopefully we're done here soon. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. So I appreciate everyone who supports me and supports the build. If you guys have any questions, concerns, message below. And with that being said, I'm excited for the new mods that are gonna come in and what the build's gonna look like. So until next time guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.